what was the second part of that question? Uh, answers another question I had too about the historical data of previously owned buildings uh, and the restaurants, uh, how they fared to kind of evaluate my success in that location as to whether or not steer clear of it uh, or try to utilize it uh, with my concept. Well, um, again, you're going to have to match what your concept is with what that available site says should go there. And, and again, I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's say you're in a mall setting, and it's a closed-in mall, and there is a food court. What kind of restaurants normally go in a food court? Well, we know what those are. They're either fast food, or they're what we would deem as fast casual. I don't traditionally see a fine dining, sit down, steak and lobster type restaurant in a mall food court. Really difficult to deal with the steak with the plastic knife and forks. You don't normally see that. But mm -hmm. interestingly enough, when people are calling us trying to figure out what happened to my business, we can usually point out the few items that are just blatantly, unbelievably sitting right in front of their face, and they didn't see it. And see, to me, that's one of the best ways you could use a restaurant consultant, is don't use the restaurant consultant to do all the work for you because they can be expensive. Use the restaurant consultant to say, hey, can I pay you for an hour or two of your time and just have you look at all the stupid stuff I might be doing and have me stop doing it before I open? And in an hour or two, they can literally go through and go boop, boop, boop. By the way, if you've already bought the site and it's a bad site, not a whole 